color hair extensions, log on at secretcolor.com to get your choice of blue, pink, or secret color fun to get free shipping for your second one. You can log on at secretcolor.com to get your smooth and creamy taste to your whole family loves. <sighs> Hey guys, how you doing? Rod here. Um, I'm in my bed this time. I'm actually in my bed now. Um, usually I'm right over there, but I'm in my bed this time because I felt like sitting up. And in case any of you are wondering, which I doubt it, but it's my dead rose. It was beautiful when I was alive, but it's not alive anymore. So, it's dead. Um, I just figured, you know, since we're going back to school in like, well, tomorrow, considering that it's like midnight. We're going back to that place tomorrow. I figured I would talk about, you know, um, my school pet peeves, because I have plenty of them. And most of them have to do with teachers. So, um, let's get into this. Number one. When teachers give out a lot of homework, and then later on, complain about correcting the homework. Why are you complaining? You gave it out. That's my point. You gave it out. If you never wanted to correct it, you should have never gave it out. That's that. I mean, it's just stupid to me. I mean, how in the hell are you going to give out homework? And then complain and act like you're just so miserable because you have to grade so many papers. Shouldn't have gave out the homework. I mean, am I wrong? I mean, if you don't want to correct all this homework, don't give it out. I mean, just give us a worksheet or something. Easier to correct. Like that. Oh, I'm terrible. It's, hold on. Yeah, there we go. I had to get that snap in. Anyway, yeah. Like, seriously. It's just, it's just too much. Well, next. Number two. When teachers single you out when everyone else was doing the exact same thing. Stop. Oh my, I cannot tell you how many times a teacher has singled me out, but everybody else in the class was doing some. Okay, hold on. Last year in eighth grade, it was some anniversary of the JFK assassination, or his birthday, some one of the two, and we watched a video, and in in, in that video. There was a n news report, and JFK got tackled and licked by a black horse. And I thought that was funny, and apparently so did like 17 other kids. So they started laughing. So then my teacher is like, Roger, stop laughing. You're distracting the learning of others. Come up here and sit in the front where I can see you. Wait, what? I'm, but everybody else is laughing. Why single just me out? Like I cannot stand that. Like this, this is too much. This, this is too much. I cannot stand when teachers do that. It just pisses me off. I have no idea why. Actually, yes, I do. Because it's annoying. Okay, next. Number three. This goes with students. Okay, well, students and teachers. When you get in trouble because of somebody else and that other person lies and you can't prove that they actually did it. Oh my god, I hate that so much. Like, let's say some dude 
about that. Let's see. Um, let's say some dude stole your lunch money. And before you could go get a teacher, he hid it in his locker. You don't know where his locker is. But you tell the teacher anyway. So they ask him, did you do that? He's like, no. Why would I steal his lunch money? You have no way to prove that. So then you're just standing there looking stupid, trying to prove a point, but you can't prove that point because you have no evidence. And then they get off, they get off the hook. No punishment whatsoever. And then there are those few times that you get in trouble for lying and accusing a person of doing something that they didn't do. Are you serious? Like, you're gonna get me in trouble for something I didn't even... <sighs> See, that's... I just can't stand... Oh, my God. Next! And last but not least, number four. I was gonna do five, but you know, I didn't feel like making a seven-minute video, so... Number four. <sighs> when a teacher accuses you of something that you didn't do. Now, this doesn't happen to everybody. But it's happened to me. I hated that teacher anyway. So that just proved that she hated me more, if not the same, more than I hated her. So they'll accuse you of something. The principal is mostly going to side with them because they hired the teacher. So why would the teacher have to lie, right? <laughs> nope. Um, actually, the teacher was wrong. The teacher's usually wrong because, you know, of the word accuse. Um, yeah. So, that doesn't happen to everybody. I don't feel like going into it. So, I'm just going to put that out there. I hate it when teachers do that. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to go get an apple. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm back. All that talking about school made me hungry for some reason. Oh. I got to take off the tape. Okay. Anyway. Mm. Yeah. So, those are the few, a few things. You know, I was four of the many things that, you know, pissed me off at, about school. Um. Mostly about teachers. So, basically about, you know, teachers like the bad ones you know sometimes there are good teachers no. all right well i gotta go i'll see you later bye